now that we have our base image that we've generated through mid-journey we created our variations and then we did an upscale now what i want to go into is the final upscalers so we have three different options we have our make variations we have our light upscale and we have our beta upscale redo so let's go ahead and click these three and we'll walk through what differences they do to our image Yes, and you can always see which versions because this can get a little hectic as you can see just in this example. We've already generated a lot of different images. So the newest image is always gonna get put to the bottom that was rendered and output the most recent. And then it's always gonna say which version it was or what you did to it last. And there's gonna be a timestamp here just to keep things a little bit more organized. So these are the variations that we created. This gave us four new options. And this is the beta upscale, which is going to create the highest resolution version with the littlest change to what's going on in the actual image itself. So it's going to retain the core of the image without moving things around. We then have the light upscale that we did that did not turn out well. Sometimes this will happen with images where, depending on if it's a face, a landscape, an animal, a car, you know, a abstract image they're gonna work better and it does take a little bit of trial and error they're gonna work better with different types of upscales so if you don't get the output that you like for example this is not a desirable output luckily we also did the beta upscale and it gave us it gave us a really excellent output so i would recommend doing a little bit of trial and error and find what works best for your specific image let's say we're ready to move forward with this one, which is clearly the best that we have so far. The options that we have are we can download this image as is, which let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna say that this is beta upscale V1. That's gonna go to the downloads. And then we can continue to upscale it and even we have a new function which is called remaster. So now let's do these three and see what type of outputs we get. So now we have our newly updated images and you can see we kind of have an issue here. We have our upscaled, it got totally distorted. And then we have our upscaled light that equally got distorted as well. And mid journey sometimes it's getting better day by day and updated constantly to get better at what it has difficulties doing, which are numbers, letters, human faces, and anatomically correct features. So sometimes with human portraits specifically, you don't need to continue to upscale and upscale and upscale because it'll start to degrade the image. And what that tells me is I actually wanna do a second example where we're not doing a human face so that we can more specifically see how much more detail it's adding to something that's maybe of a car or a landscape. But back to this example, we have our upscales that we're not gonna use. We could continue to retry this um, to get a more clean image. I am really happy with this one, but I wanna talk about the remaster function. Now that we're later in the process of bringing up the resolution, the remaster function gives us a high resolution so we're not starting from square one on our preview low resolution 512 pixels by 512 pixels but now what we have is a higher resolution version of two new versions that if we didn't like something about our current version we can remaster it to get to newer versions so it's really handy for wanting to just change a thing or two if we look at these side by side different shape in the goggles, different reflection, different skin tone, different nationality, and a few other little variations with the background while retaining the really cool look that we've developed in this process so far of getting to this image. So let's go ahead and look at our download, which is 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels. And this is what it looks like full screen. It's not bad, it looks really unique. There are a few adjustments that I would continue to do on smoothening out the skin and it's not bad and it's a really cool example for this lesson now like i mentioned what i wanted to do is start from scratch 
and go through this process again so that you can more specifically see how the upscaling and the variations are working with something that's not needing to be anatomically accurate. So let's go ahead and type in sports car with cinematic lighting, headlights turned on, driving through colored smoke. Photo realistic. And let's see what we get. Okay, and here's our output. I actually made a spelling error and I said sports card instead of sports car, but I mean, I wanted to keep that in the edit because that just shows uh, Mid Journey's creativity and how it took what I said and made something I was not even looking to make. So. Let's go ahead and do this again. So let's do our prompt and make it sports car with cinematic lighting. Here is our output. Okay, these look really dang cool. So what I wanna do is I wanna focus on number one because it looks the most accurate to what a sports car, this looks like it made a version of a Lamborghini looks like. And I think it's gonna be a good base image to work with. So I'm gonna upscale this. Perfect, so we have our upscaled version. And let's go ahead and download this to see what resolution we're at. And we have 1,024 pixels by 1,024 pixels. It's a pretty cool image already. Now let's see how these two upscalers are gonna affect the final image we're trying to create. We don't wanna create any more variations. We wanna to continue to up the resolution and make a more professional final output. So we have our two options. We have our upscale light and our upscale beta. And what I wanna do is download both of these options. So this is our upscale beta. And then we have our upscale light. And let's look at these side by side. And you can instantly see the differences. So beta is the newer version of mid journey that's more intelligently looking at the pixels and assuming or predicting, depending on pixel to pixel, what pixels it can essentially add to make a more higher resolution image. So it's a little bit of experimentation and it's a little bit of knowing what these specific upscalers are doing. And for this specific example, the beta is clearly working better to create the more professional final output. Let's now see the difference in size. So the upscale light is 1536 by 1536, and the upscale beta, which is great because this is the version we want to use, is 2048 by 2048. So in most circumstances, because the beta is newer, it might change the name in the future, but for now it's called beta. This is gonna be the one you're gonna wanna use. Now, here's the one we wanna use, upscale beta. Let's now move on to the final steps of these three upscalers. Great, so now we have our variation, which is our remastered versions in case we wanted to change our overall artistic look and just change a few different parameters of our image. And then we have our upscaled light version that I'm not a huge fan of. There's more distortions that got added back in because the AI is trying to intelligently look at the image, look at the pixels and the contrast between the pixels and add more pixels. Sometimes it ends up distorting versus creating a cleaner image. So we'll stick with what we had before. And then we had the new upscaled beta of the upscaled beta. So it's very smooth looking and kind of a totally different artistic feel so you can really continue to go down the rabbit hole of remixing remastering upscaling until you find the final output you're looking for which isn't always going to be five different upscales sometimes it's going to be the very first or just the second upscale that you're doing in this process